What is going on everybody and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot back again. I'm so excited to be back again because we're talking Apple TV Plus Ted Lasso Season 2 Episode 1 which was titled Goodbye Earl. This is a spoiler review. I can't wait to talk about this episode. I'm so excited to be back in this universe. This is one of the one of my favorite shows last year. It was one of the best feel good shows of last year and we are back talking Season 2 and we're going to break it all down here in the spoiler review but before we do so make sure you're checking me out on all my other social media accounts. If you all are new to the channel, well, welcome to the community. Consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. That way you can get the alert for when I drop new content. If you all enjoyed my review of episode one of season two of Ted Lasso, well, make sure to like the video, share the video, helps out the channel a lot, but also appreciate the support. And for all my Ted Lasso fans out there, let's discuss your excitement level for season two, your thoughts on episode one. What do you hope to see in this season two as we get a new character in Dr. Philstone who might take the the Ted Lasso approach and take the team's morale and have it on her side and we have Rebecca learning her self-worth in his first episode and Roy figuring out what he wants to do after retirement so much to go over I'm so excited to be back but I want to know what you all thought of this first episode in the comment section so Listen, like I said up top, I reviewed every single episode last year, and it was so much fun. Again, this show has heart, it has laughs, it has a good story, has incredible characters. It's just such a feel-good show, and it's so refreshing to get a show like this. Again, we cover a lot of stuff here on this channel. We cover horror comedy, MCU, DC, Star Wars, and all that stuff is so much fun to be in that fandom. But sometimes you just need a break and watch a show like Ted Lasso and it delivers on every end. I'm so excited to be back talking about this show. So let's go ahead and talk about episode one titled Goodbye Earl, which was just such a great way to be brought back into this bunch of characters to this story that I love. So as the episode opens up with a football game, we see Richmond versus Forrest and we learn very early on that they're not losing, right? But they continue to tie and tie, and they have tied a game for seven straight games, including this one, which opens with a very accidental freaks accident with Danny as he is about to shoot a pill in his shot. And unfortunately, the team mascot, Earl the dog, sees a pigeon on the field. And as Danny is shooting the shot, he accidentally hits the dog, killing Earl, which what a freak accident, what a coincidence, but it sets the stage for what we get in this episode as we see the post-game talk with Ted Lasso, and as I said, this show has so much heart. Within the first five minutes, I'm already getting emotional as we see Trent, as Trent always does, he asks the heart question. He asks, how are you and the team and Danny handling the death of the team mascot, Earl, and we see Ted Lasso, who Jason Sudeikis in this role is fantastic. He, you know, he's, he's great in this role. How does he switch the story on his head and, and just have me getting emotional as he's talking about this long story short, when he was a kid, he had a neighborhood dog and or his neighbor had a dog and it bit him when he was young. We end up finding out that he ended up taking care of the dog and so they had to put it down and just that whole story of like loving something so, uh, you know, something that you didn't like at first and how you were able to grow to love it and life and death and all the stuff that he goes about in this speech. It was just so heartfelt to hear this moment here and it's just like seriously, this, this show manages to have so much heart all within this and, and the comedy beats are just so great but it was just like I'm already... Ted Lasso can say anything, and I'm going to be on board with him. He's that great of a character. It has so much, just like you, you trust him, right? But we see Danny is not taking the accident too well as he's in the shower, taking a hot shower, praying. And football is life, but football is also death, as he learns in this episode. But just kind of going to catching up with different who's new, new characters. We meet a couple new of the football players on the team. Like there's a Dutch character by the name of Yen. I don't believe he was on the show last year, but he seems to be very straightforward and very Dutch. We also see that Nate, who was very subdued and very kind of, you know, insecure and very quiet last season, he has a new attitude to him now that he's part of the coaching staff and he has this moment where his replacement, Will, wants to celebrate his mom's 50th birthday and, you know, Nate gives him a little bit, bit of bite back to that character and he has a little couple other moments in this episode where he's a little bit, you know, short with some characters. He's being a little, a little bit of attitude. I'm not going to lie. I like this new Nate because last year he was just so kind of kept into himself and so quiet, but it's kind of nice to see the other side of the character. I hope he's not a jerk. Don't get me wrong, but I'd like to see him have a little bit of pushback than what he'd had last season. But I love the jokes in this episode, the running joke about all the ties that Richmond's going through, whether it's Ted Lasso's son sending him a picture of him wearing a bunch of ties. We have one of the 
opposing team sending them Thai food. And then the joke that really had me was when Higgins mentioned that he was going to watch uh, uh, Empire Strikes Back with his son for the first time. And how he has to explain the whole Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker again. The way the show throws in pop culture references, the way the show like subtly adds humor, it's just so perfectly placed. And I just love this show so much, as you all can see. But let's catch up with Rebecca as we learn that she is doing some online dating by the gentleman by the name of John, who will talk about a little bit later. We see that Coach Kent, aka Roy, is taking his new job, taking his retirement job very seriously as he's coaching nine-year-olds. And obviously, we know Roy is very straightforward, has no filter as he's coaching these girls. But we also see that him and Keeley seem to be on a really good page. No drama. This is that they're going to make it to the end of the season as a happy couple unless someone gets in the way of that, in the way of Jamie. We'll talk about him at the end of this. But I love to see them on the same page as Keeley invites him to a double date with Rebecca and John. But Ted Lasso, got to go back to my favorite character. He's trying to have girl talk, or as he says it, girl listen with Rebecca as she is starting to realize to have some self-worth. And this is one of the moments as Ted's saying, hey, he doesn't seem to have, you know, seems like a pretty straightforward, normal guy. And there's really no problems with this guy. He's very standard. He's very safe as something we learned with Rebecca. And also he's nowhere near her ex-husband. So it's, it's Rebecca rediscovering who she is as a person that I really enjoyed about this first episode and seeing her journey on her finding this love and her finding her self-worth will be something very earned for that character. But let's go back to Danny, who at this point is having nightmares, literally nightmares about what happened with the dog and is carrying over to the football field. And we, <laughs> speaking of jokes, the Tom Cruise ponytail joke with him having a ponytail in Magnolia and also in The Last Samurai, again, I love the jokes in this show. But we see that Ted's, Ted's approach, which normally works backfires on him as literally it backfires in his ass as Danny kicks the ball right into his butt which was just like again it's showing that Ted he still has a grip on the team but he might have someone to compete against as it's being suggested as we talk about the yites and the yeets I'm sorry uh when the athlete forgets the fundamentals of the game they suggest that they have a team therapist which Ted was a little bit, uh, re, re, he wasn't on board with that, and we learn why later in the episode as he brings up that him and his wife had couples therapy, and he kind of felt like it was sabotage. He was kind of set up to just kind of lose that fight in the, in the in that situation, so that's kind of why he doesn't like the idea of having someone come in outside, come into the team, and kind of shift the dynamic of how the players are normally coming to Ted for their help, but now they're going to have someone else to talk to. Doesn't sit too well with our buddy Ted there, but we see Rebecca on the date, and Roy doesn't hold back. He tells her, you deserve so much more. You should have a guy that just like would stand in front of lightning to be with you. You're that worth it, Rebecca, and she starts to realize like, and that's the conversation too about this episode that I really took away with is just like knowing your self-worth but also not selling yourself short and it isn't always the best idea to play it safe and I really love that element and that kind of theme throughout this episode and knowing what you truly deserve in life which I love when the show like this gives you really good life lessons but we meet a new character who I'm going to love because I'm really loving her personality so far and that is Dr. Sharon Firestone, who immediately, which by the way, I would love to get greeted at the, the, the Ted Lasso greeting dance was perfect, but after she gets greeted, she immediately goes for Ted. She's an alpha, right? She goes for the head as he says, Ted, are you good at your job? Do you believe you're good at your job? Yes or no question as he says, yes. And she says, well, you know what? You think you're good at your job. I'm twice as good as you. So I love the back and forth. And again, to me, she's kind of taking that position of Rebecca where someone that has their kind of, they are very alpha, very you know confident about themselves. But then Ted is trying to figure her out. And I'm pretty sure by the end of the season, they're going to be really good friends. But so far, and, and it's not that she's being mean or anything like that she just she's good at what she does and she doesn't want anyone to step on her show or her toes as we know Ted likes to do that every now and then just to really kind of embrace himself in the situation and right now he's feeling a little threatened that the, the team might have a new therapist to talk to and not Ted but we go to Rebecca inevitably she breaks up with John because she tells him that she wants to let her safeguard down she doesn't want to play it safe she wants to be brave and wants to open her heart up to having her heart broken and that is something that I totally agree with right I'm, I have had my heart broken and it's hard to let yourself out there and sometimes you just settle for mediocrity and not that the person's bad or mean but it's just not 
what you need in life. So I love that Rebecca has that moment. And again, I'm excited to see where they take the character this season. But wrapping up the show, we see that Dr. Phil Stone breaks the superstition and the football is life is coming back to Danny as he's now back in form and happy to have this therapist and he is back to who he used to be. And again, we see Ted looking up in the stands and she's gone. And it's just like, this is going to be interesting to see these two characters go back and forth. But we end with our boy Roy, who is at his mom's yoga greeting, and they're watching reality TV, and lo and behold, where has Jamie been this whole time, where he's on a reality show, and it'll be interesting to see how Roy will kind of, you know, as last season, he took Keely away from Jamie, so will we see Roy in post-retirement do that pundit job as Keely wants him to do? Only time will tell, but again, this episode was fantastic. It was great to be back with these characters, seeing Ted and Dr. Phil Stone go head-to-head, seeing Rebecca finding her self-worth, seeing the relationship evolve between Keely and Roy is great, and of course, all the jokes, the puns are fantastic, so I really enjoyed this first episode. Can't wait to to talk about each episode every single week with you all but let me know in the comments what did you all enjoy about episode one of season two what do you hope to see in this season and like i said i'll be back every single week because this is a show that i love to talk about i love feeling good i love talking about shows that make you all feel good and that's exactly what we're going to do for the next i believe 12 weeks i believe season two will consist of 12 episodes we already know that season three is coming and i believe it's the last season which breaks my heart but hey let's take advantage of what we're getting with season two and i can't wait to talk about it with you all every single week so if you stuck around to the end of this video i appreciate every single one of you if you haven't already make sure to like share comment your thoughts below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and welcome to the community if you are coming to the channel for the first time i won't uh, i don't think you'll be disappointed we talk about a lot of good movies and shows on this channel so there you have it you all i'll be back next week talking episode two in the meantime in the description below check out my recent reviews Again, thank you all for watching this review. Hope you're staying safe, and we'll see you in the next video.